Hey, hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll see how we can integrate our model context protocol servers with custom AI agents. And you can see from past few weeks, there is a lot bunch of hype on these model context protocols where people out there are using uh, all the servers either via integrated with uh, cloud desktop or cursor or row code or client, they are integrated with some custom chat ports, right? What if you can use these MCP servers? On top of it, you can create your own AI agent to handle it, right? Today, in this demo, I just wanted to show you uh, how you can integrate Blender MCP server. Blender MCP server on top of Agno AI agents. I choose Agno, but uh, you can choose any other like Crew AI. You can choose uh, Autogen. You can choose Pydantic AI. All these offers uh, production grade AI agents, right? I love Agno because it's uh, purely simple to integrate AI agents and develop it. But you can choose any of the framework you want. In this demo, I just wanted to show you how you can integrate this Blender MCP with Agno agent. If you can see uh, the Blender MCP documentation uh, or the website, they have just integrated their Blender MCP with a cloud desktop. And they have some beautiful installation guide. I'm not uh, going in depth to the installation because there are a lot bunch of people has already done uh, these basic setups and configurations. You can follow them and see what they are doing. Uh, they are integrating this Blender MCP with a row and client and windsurf integration. Right, uh, but today we will see how you can in actually integrate this uh, Agno agent. Before that, let's uh, take this example and I have already a base code running in, uh, in the backend. Uh, let me take this uh, and I'll show you a small demo.
have some other scene in the back end. Let me remove all of it. Let me read on it again. Let me uncheck uh, start and CP server. Uh, once you, uh, here you go. This is the basic setup you need. Uh, go to Blender MCP and if you wanted to use Hyper 3D, uh, make it on. Uh, you'll be getting some free credits uh, here and there. So you can use it only five to three times a day for one Blender scene. But the, our agent can also work on uh, the simple task, right? Let me uh, run my agent. Create a low poly scene in Diagonal with a dragon guarding a plot of gold. It might be not that much perfect because we are not using Hyper 3D model. If you can use this Hyper 3D, then it could be so easy, right? See, if you, if you can see, the scene is getting ready. Uh, you can see how beautiful it is, like uh, similar to how you are using it, using it by a cloud. It also creates the same, correct? Uh, see, uh, the scene is not yet completed, but you can still chat with it. Let's say get scene info, info get scene information, and uh, I was expecting a dragon again uh, guard guard gold points can you please adjust it and I'll I'll pass it what this get scene information does it takes all the information from here and uh, Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get the scene information first, then I'll add the dragon and the gold points. Okay, I see the scene as dragon base, dragon head, and gold. I'll adjust the scene to make the dragon guard the piece. I'll move the dragon closer to the gold and rotate it to the face of the gold. Maybe we need to pass uh, detailed instructions. Now, Field information it's expecting again. Sorry, and uh, please um, modify the dragon so that it uh, has has uh. Danger logs. Uh, danger logs. Fire. Emitting. Oh, 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 oh. Let me pass it again. Uh, I don't think so it worked, right? But at least uh, it has created something very beautiful, correct? We have unset Hyper 3D. I'm gonna try some other thing. We need to try using Let's use some other brands. Create a beach vibe using HDRA textures and models like rocks and vegetation from foliage. Huh? Uh, make use of uh, Hyper 3D. Right? Uh, let's run it. Let's run our tool. Let's remove this stuff. 
them before. See, it was trying to use uh, the existing, uh, or the, it has found 30 assets in this category of beach and why. Let's see what it does at that. It has found all the tools available, so it's uh, all your methods. Creating a beach by uh, download. It was, it, it was downloading, uh, trying to download the assets. Hope I can see something here. Oh, Blender, don't stuck. Is this something I'm not sure what it has been done? So it had created a rock, but what about sand and solar See, the, uh, when you use Hyper 3D now, there will be some free credits you can use uh, for free. But if you are having some DK calls and you are having all the assets downloaded already, it can easily create from that. I'm not expert in Blender, but I was just saying like it is possible to create AI agents on top of MCP servers. And also what it added, maybe it was add, trying to add some beach work. So this is what uh, it all does. See, it was telling I was unable to retrieve the status of hyper 3D generation. I will attempt to import generated assets and I have created a beach scene using hyper 3D with a prompt. This is the prompt it has been used, but let's not go inside it. Okay, let's close Blender now. Uh, let me uh, walk you through it. What actually happens here? See, I was running all this for free using Gemini uh, models. I was using Gemini 2.0 slash experimental model. And I was using Agno thinking tools, which has recently added, which gives you uh, like thinking capabilities for Gemini before executing anything. Maybe you have just in uh, the terminal. Uh, it's so simple. Like you have to just configure this Blender MCP server, something like this. And It's so simple. You just need to uh, configure this Blender MCP server. In Windows, uh, you have to uh, enter the whole path of your uvx.exe. In most of the cases, uh, you will not find this particular example. Like in Windows, you have to uh, enter the whole command. And the arguments like Blender MCP, it works. And since I have using uh, SQLite, I have some additional functions here so that I can create SQLite DB in my local environment so that I can model can remember what it has done earlier. This is something uh, I don't have a DB viewer. Let me try to open it in editor. This is how the, the whole conversation 
will be stored in SQLite. Okay. Uh, I've created an SQLite and uh, so that it can uh, it can have the chart history conversation. And I was just adding this Blender MCP tool with my agent. The first thing what I have done, I have initialized this MCP server. And I was trying to uh, add the tool description so that agent can better understand what this tool does before it creates anything, right? And I was having a brief tool description, uh, what to do, what not to do, what to use for what thing, and Falana uh, uh, And I have some base instructions from my agent on how to follow. For example, say, you are a professional vendor expert with 10 years of experience in 3D modeling, animation, and visual effects. You have to work on major film productions, game developments, and architectural visualization projects. Your expertise spans with Blender workflow from concept to final render. It has core expertise, it has uh, Blender tools knowledge, it has tool recommendations. Uh, just imagine I have added a detailed prompt instructions to an, to an agent so that it can work along with you. Uh, as you told, I have uh, added chart history when you wanted to communicate this, it will also work. See, I was using Gemini 2.0 flash experimental model, but recently Gemini has launched Gemini 2.5 thinking. Maybe you can use it for better results. And this is all I was doing it for free, right? Uh, what do you need other than this, right? Maybe in future, we'll try to add a lot bunch of MCP tools uh, and we'll try how this works. That's all for today, guys. Uh, take care. If you want this workflow, please let me know in the comments below so that I can share you the GitHub, uh, the GitHub link.